Another really fantastic bow hold exercise is what we call pinky push-ups. For each instrument, it's gonna look slightly different, but the concept is still the same. I'm gonna demonstrate this for today with a violin viola bow hold. So you're gonna start with a good bow hold, and you're going to rest the tip of your bow on the back side of your hand. Now don't worry if a little bit of the hair is touching because we don't really have a lot of oils on the back of our hand, so it's not gonna damage the hair. Be careful though that you truly do use the back side of your hand, not the palm of your hand. So I'm just gonna rest the tip of my bow gently on the back of my hand, and I'm going to use only the strength from my pinky and maybe a little bit from my ring finger to push down onto the frog of the bow, push down so that the tip of the bow is actually going to get raised off of my hand just a little bit. So when I push only using that finger, it's going to pop off just a little bit, and then I'm going to slowly bring it back down. Be careful not to use too much um, muscle from your wrist. If we do that, it looks kind of like our windshield wiper video, if you saw that earlier, where you're using your whole wrist to twist. We really want to have this focus just be on our pinky and maybe a little bit of our ring finger, especially if we have cellos and basses and you're down low like this you may feel it more in your ring finger, but violins and violas are gonna feel it primarily in the pinky. So you're gonna push down so that the tip of your bow raises just a little bit and then come back down. A couple inches is really all you need. Lift off and bring it down. Now, if you drop the bow and just let it slap your hand, you're really doing a disservice to your fingers because coming down can be just as hard, if not harder than making your bow go up. Remember, we want to control our bow and control our bow hold and all the muscles. So we need to do that by going nice and slow, both going up and down. If you do this correctly, most students start to feel a little bit of a pull or a bit of strain in their muscles in their hand right here, as well as in the muscle here in your arm. Occasionally you may feel a little bit here, but that's often coming from just holding the bow physically in front of you rather than the motion you're using from your pinky. So if you feel like that strain is pulling in those two spots, that might be a sign that you're doing it right. But make sure you're listening to your body too. If it gets really strenuous for you, make sure you take a break. We never want to overwork any muscles, especially our finger muscles are so delicate. So be very careful and listen to your body. But if it needs a break, take a break, shake out your hand, and then try it a little bit longer.